Hello everyone, welcome back. In this uh, lab, we are going to uh, create the application gateway with WAF or WAF V2 would be our uh, SKU or tier for this application gateway. We'll see uh, that particular lab and we'll also try to customize few rules and associate those uh, Azure WAF rules to the application gateway. All right, so let's get started. So I have uh, the same setup that I had in the previous app gateway uh, labs, two VMs with different uh, web servers, Apache and Nginx. And now what we're gonna do, we gotta uh, go back to the application gateway and create one. Uh, as always, this is the one that we'll finish with, and this is the one that we'll uh, try to understand all the settings, okay? So we need to select the resource group, come on, don't go anywhere. That's my resource group. Then the application gateway name, App gateway 02, UK South is, the location for me because my virtual network and app gateway subnet is there. Now this is the tier, that's what I was talking about. And next video we'll talk about a little more about auto scaling and tiers. So for now it's WAF V2, the latest one. Don't need the auto scaling, but of course uh, we need to select the virtual network. This is the lab, so no auto scaling and no availability zone. I'm trying to be, very cost optimized kind of customer for myself. <laughs> Let's go to the front ends and I need to select the public IP. I have one already. If you do not, you gotta create one. And remember these version twos has uh, standard or static, uh, standard and static uh, IPs, which was not there in the uh, previous versions. So let me give it a name back in, just like the usual way we are configuring this. Go to the configuration. We have the front end public IP and back end pool, no uh, endpoints attached or no back end VMs IPs associated right now, only the blank pool. Now we gotta hit the routing rule because this, this lab is more about the WAF. So we'll get back to WAF as soon as possible. I'm just configuring basic rule. Uh, listener, okay, absolutely basic. Don't need much. Public, listen, will, it will listen on public, right? Backend pool, I have one. I don't have HTTP setting, gotta create one. This will send the traffic to the backend. Click on add, click on add. Now, this is the setting uh, that we we are configured this app gateway many times. This is the, I think, sixth lab in the continuation. I can easily click on create and it will create it. The only thing we gotta see is WAF version two, right? So in order to create it, I have this created already because it will take 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes uh, and a, uh, we need to wait for it. So I don't want to wait. I don't want you guys to wait. I don't myself to, you know, sit there. So uh, let's go to the uh, WAF. You can see uh, this is what we chose. Now firewall status is enabled, right? And firewall mode is detection. So what it means, it means the firewall, the WAF that gateway, uh, provides got two modes, detection and prevention. Detection means it will keep on detecting all those activities and send those logs somewhere that you will configure a uh, storage account or uh, through the event hub, things like that, right? Uh, and prevention, it will stop those requests. It will prevent those requests to come through the firewall. Right, so these are this is the uh, detection uh, and prevention thing. You can uh, disable it, but we don't want to disable it. We want to learn it, right? So let's click on the rules where the magic happens. So OWASP, OWASP is the uh, standard rules uh, already configured for the filtration 
for this WAF, and there are multiple versions, 2.2, 3.1, 3.2. Uh, you can choose as per the requirement. Uh, usually we go with the latest. And uh, I'll, I'll show you this in the policy as well, because you can also customize your rules because these, oh, 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 I'll, I'll show you in the policy, it would be more visible. So let me discard it. So this is the gateway with the default uh, WAF and the rules that you can choose with the version right now. This is what it is, but this is not enough for us. We want something more. What we want, we want to customize the WAF, right? We want to customize, we want to add our own rules. For example, we are aware we don't want any requests from particular country, from particular IP addresses. We can uh, put it on the prevention mode by ourselves, right? Let me quickly check. Uh, it was on uh, detection mode. Let me put it on the prevention mode, okay? And let's quickly check here, WAF policies. Here are the policies that you can create for yourself. <clears throat> so WAF, uh, this Azure uh, app gateway, WAF provides centralized protection of your web application from common exploits and vulnerabilities. That's what, that's what there in those rules, right? That I showed you, OWASP rule, Open Web Application Security Project. That's what OWASP stand for. And this WAF automatically updates to include protection against new vulnerabilities with no additional configuration needed. What it simply means, if you select the OWASP, whatever change is happening, it would be taken care by the Microsoft from the backend. If, if they figure it out, there are few vulnerabilities, few IPs that are gonna stop, they will put it in this OWASP rule. So there's a little, little more about the uh, WAF. Let me quickly go ahead and create this policy. This policy there, you can create this, uh, firewall policies for global WAF that is used in front door, regional WAF that is application gateway or CDN, which is in preview. So we're learning app gateway. So that's what we're gonna choose. Resource group is our resource group. Same resource group that we keep on using. There would be a time come maybe tomorrow when I'm gonna remove this group because we are almost there. Uh, now the policy name uh, app, gateway poll that's the name you can give any name south now here you can see the same policy mode prevention and detection so we chose prevention there on the app gateway so let me choose the prevention uh go to manage rule now you see this is what i was talking about these all are the rules you see these are enabled if you want to see you can expand all these are already uh Oh, these are the rules which is already in place through this OWASP 3.1. Uh, you can see what rule stands for found user agent associated with security scanners. So they, they have enabled those things. The, these kind of requests would be blocked automatically. Now we don't wanna go there. We are here to learn a customized rule. Now <clears throat> here you can put the exclusions if you want to. And these are the custom rules. This is what uh, I wanted to show you. You can add your own custom rule and you can uh, attach that uh, policy to the WAF. And this policy would take over the default uh, WAF that you have right now. I'll show you. Uh, you can give the custom rule. Let me, let me call it uh, block IP uh, priority, give it 100. IP address, no, 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 I need IP address. This IP address, this jump box IP address, 20.80.45.86, okay? And we can, we can then deny traffic. If this condition matches, we can, Deny, log, and allow. So we are denying it. Add. That's what it will do. Review and create. It wouldn't take much as as app gateway as per my experience, but you know sometimes it takes a little more than usual. So meanwhile, let me while it is happening, let me let me talk about some 
uh, protections that it provides. So this web protect your web, uh, web app from uh, vulnerabilities and attacks without uh, modification to backend code. That's a good thing. Same, uh, uh, same web, web can protect multiple applications, web app at the same time. Uh, and this uh, instance of application gateway can host up to 40 websites that are protected by uh, WAF. We can also create the custom, that's what we are doing it. And these, these uh, WAF can help you uh, protect from the vulnerabilities or, or uh, malicious activities or attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, uh, common web attacks such as HTTP request smuggling, HTTP response splitting, HTTP protocol violation, there's a huge list of uh, features for this WAF that you can see on the MS Talks. I'll share the link in the description. So let me show you if I come here and select associate application gateway right now, it's not associated with any gateway, though it is made to associate with the gateway. If you remember, that's what we selected at the beginning. Now, if I click on add association, I can, I can hook it up with the application gateway directly, or I can hook it up with the HTTP listener. If you remember, uh, listener is, is something that listens on that public IP of the app gateway or any front end IP of the gateway. So this listener would apply those rules directly to that request. So for now, let's choose the application gateway. But before I choose this, let me cancel this one. Let me take you back to the app gateway. Just wanted to show you so that it will uh, remain in the memory, what I'm trying to show you. All right now, if you click on WAF, this is the situation. I can put the exclusion here as well, but it is always uh, better to manage everything from a centralized place and the policies, the WAF policies is the centralized place for you from where you can manage the exclusion, all the customer will know. You can apply that everywhere, wherever you want, wherever it is uh, applicable, right? So <clears throat> right now we only have this rule. Now, as soon as I attach the, the customized rules to WEF policies, this will, this will, this all will be gone and that policy would be uh, attached here. That would become, uh, that, that will take over all this. So it doesn't mean only the single rule will apply. It will be the, incremental or addition on the OWASP 3.0. Eh? Let's quickly get back to the uh, WEF policy. Come on. There we go. And click on policy, go to gateway, click on add associate application gateway. Now, Application get a WAF 01. That's what we have. Resource groups. Uh, um, oh, yes. There we go. Now it says the selected app gateway has a different WAF policy configuration than the current setting. To change to the new configuration, click on the blue checkbox. All right. I think I chose the same, but let's see. Now it has been added. I got to save it. It's talking about the configuration. I'll I'll show you. From here, you can manage. Oh, okay, not bad. It will take a little time, and this this policies will take over everything what is there on the application gateway. Or in other words, this is a centralized management. Or you can say all those additional rule that you have created, the customized rule that you have created on this uh, web policies would be added there. But since these are added from this particular product WAF policies, that's why it will only show it is rules are associated through these policies. All right, so let's go back to the gateway. Click on WAF, and there we go. Now you can see everything has gone that it was showing earlier. Now it only says this policy. Whatever there is in this policy and what was there was 3.0 plus the customized rule that I have created. Okay. All right, so uh, that's how we can utilize WAF and uh, we can work with our customized rule, okay? Uh, 
let's quickly uh, do the testing. Uh, when we created the application gateway, uh, we only created the backend pool, did not create anything there. Let me quickly add the virtual machine, uh, one of the virtual machine that we have for the lab, uh, Ubuntu virtual machine that I showed you at the beginning. It will take a few minutes. Meanwhile, let me take you to the virtual machine just to show you one to one that we have used. And if I use the public IP of the Ubuntu machine, uh, let me put it here. See, it will show Apache, that means it's working. And this public IP is directly hooked up with the virtual machine, but we want the traffic come through the uh, come to the back end through uh, why it's not showing anything. Okay, virtual machine Ubuntu. What happened? I forgot to hit the save or something. Anyways, uh, what, but what we want, I've just showed you this machine is up and running, the traffic is going in, uh, but we want the traffic through this, uh, this public IP. All right, and we're gonna see it as soon as this backend pool is there. It is added, but we can still wait for a minute or two because it is uh, showing deployment in progress, right? Uh, <clears throat> meanwhile, I could also show you, uh, let me do, come here and add one more tab and application gateway WAF policy. Uh, not this exactly, but app gateway WAF. I just wanted to show you all those features that it, you see, all the requests, cross-site scripting or SQL injection kind of requests are coming. Uh, App Gateway, where the rules are there, it will recognize those requests and it will deny, okay? Uh, as per OWASP 3.0, these are already configured. Only the valid request would allow, right? If you go little down, you'll find all those features from SQL injections to inspect JSON XML, those things, right? So let me get back to here and i hope this one is added that's wonderful what we want we want this public ip to work right it should get us the apache oh no oh yes it's not no it's yes why because we have added this public ip where we are in right now in the custom rule right and it's blocking the address. So let me let me copy the IP address first and try to browse from my uh, local machine. Now I'm on, come on. Now I'm here and this is my IP, come on. This is my IP, you can see. And this is not that we have blocked. So let me try to browse now and there we go. See, that's how it works. So thank you. And by this, uh, we just included the lab and thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.